You, you see, domestic violence and anger management are big business. Government making money, them psychologists and them other jokers making money out there. I believe that they're not serious really, they're just letting it continue so they can make that money. And purporting to be interested in, in human relations and all that. But the big sweat is that, what about these psychologists and these sociologists and these psychiatrists? I don't hear from them. I mean, they don't make any money quietly, aren't they intelligent enough to understand issues and to help us solve the problems we have? They, they just sitting by and they're just like under some stupor or under some uh, trance. They're not understanding what's happening. And the, the, the strategies they come up with are so trivial and elementary that no wonder things are kind of, you know, a problem. For example, here we have a um, husband and wife, they're going at it. No, straight up. I mean, is this pe the people are mentally ill or something? Listen, if you have a disagreement, just deal with the issue. Huh? And you still be friends, right? We don't like this. I think this, whatever. And we still friends. What, what about if one person just back up and say, well, okay, I understand what you're saying and just chill out as opposed to going head to head? I studied stuff like that in high school, you know? Um, or if somebody, you know, doing something bad, you just. You know, just open yourself for them to do you another bad and just chill out. And they're going to be ridden with so much guilt and you'll save yourself. Because what I find is that uh, when people are drunk, they talk things that when they get sober, they're, they're, they're kind of embarrassed. But also when they're angry, they say things that they don't really, um, they might mean, but then they come back saying, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that and all this stuff. But in my view, it gives me an insight into how the person's thinking about me. But bottom line is that why not? count a couple of times and just chill out and just just don't fall up things um, you know it leads to violence it leads to a whole bunch of stuff I remember um, in Florida they have this Duluth method in, in, in how to avoid domestic violence and it's a bunch of crap but the state forces you to do it and if you don't do it they'll send you to jail and in my view it's just a waste of time because it doesn't deal with real issues it's saying that uh, they, their assumption is that men are too powerful and they need to share the power with women. Women need to be a little more powerful and aggressive. <laughs> you lead into a bunch of crap. I mean, this thing has been tried in the past and civilizations have disappeared simply for the same dumb stuff. Somebody got to back up. Um, anyway, I ain't going further, but the, the, these professionals we have, you can't trust them. Look the other day up at uh, Vanderbilt, some of these young people come with the hip-hop psychology and the graffiti art therapy I mean oh my god but you know the bottom line is this and I could see this across the spectrum one guy talks stupid the others who know better just ignore it because they can talk stupid and make the money it's about making the money guy talk right for example on opera show once this doctor in education said something like you don't uh, have to bribe kids to do what's right and I'm saying like did this guy study anything at all does he have any common sense you see he like many people that take this to the next level or oh, we're born with, with ways to relate to stuff so we don't need to learn stuff huh? you know I mean you're born with a blank slate and you have to be acculturated you have to be taught ways of doing things I mean it's creating so many problems for the young people because we allow them to raise themselves and without any human contact it's, it's affecting them, they can't relate to others, they're having serious mental problems, they're so insecure, they're prone to suicide. Oh Lord, man, this thing is crazy. We need to go back to the drawing board and, and reinvent these professions and these professionals because they're straight up a waste of time.